it's melted and gone down someplace else. <laughs> this is a cabin or refrigerator. Here, go get a fire, sir. There's some firewood over there, and I'm going to go get in the bucket. Oh, I knew it. Little Nicholas always doing the dirty work. Down on your knees, slave and begin. Why do people drag me on these trips anyway? I know. It's not my company they want. It's they always need someone to mind the baby, to be a maid, or be the wood chopper. It's never my company they want. Never, never. But Jay, I really did think you were different. I really did. I really, really thought you liked me. Don't worry. I've been disillusioned before. I can handle it. <laughs> Sweet. So you see, Winifred, 
Suppose you step in a while while you consider that the fire's having a hard enough time as it is without having to warn the entire state of California. Yes, please, come here. Won't you get one by the fire? Do you really think we should, Winifred? Oh, why not? That fire certainly looks good to me. Well, all right, dear, if you think best. After all, it is like an adventure. Lonely cabin, two strange men, and poor little me walking in like the spider into the fly. I mean, the fly into the spider's web. Oh, I always do get things mixed up, but you understand what I mean. Oh, I'm so thrilled. Ivan, Olga, we're going in. Ivan? Olga? Ivan, that's what I said. He's my chauffeur and a Russian count. And very queer, but very interesting. He broods. Oh, you need to wait for him. He can open the door. Isn't this the loveliest fire? It certainly is. I have no idea. It was so cold. May I introduce myself and my friend here? I'm Jay Stanford. Oh, my God. 